This photo of two Kansas City police officers holding up, holding up this sign that says end police brutality drew nationwide attention. And as we told you at five, the officer on the left is asking for support. He wants people to oppose an ordinance that would stop the prosecution of many of those arrested during the protests. KCTV 5's Leslie Aguilar spoke with the Fraternal Order of Police and the mayor about this proposal. So, Leslie, who would this cover? Oh, right now, the proposal would bear pros or stop prosecution for anyone arrested here in Mill Creek Park, the plaza, or Westport on Friday, May 29th to Tuesday, June 2nd. Wednesday, June 3rd is the day that police changed their tactics, and since then, there have been no violent confrontations between officers and protesters. This ordinance, as it stands, infuriates Kansas City Fraternal Order of Police President Brad Lemon. Getting rid of charges where police officers were injured and, 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 and people tried to hurt them uh, makes no sense. If passed, this would stop protesters from being charged for anything except property damage. As we've reported, protesters and police alike were hurt during demonstrations. Officers were hit with everything from frozen water bottles to rocks and even severed pig heads. When those arrests were being made, they were also being coupled at the same time of, with, with anarchy, rocks being thrown, bricks being thrown. I mean, we had case after case after case where somebody was buying pallets of bricks and hiding them amongst the, the protest routes in order to use them against our police officers and go through windows. City council members on the committee that will hear the ordinance tomorrow say assault and other charges will be added to the list of exceptions, meaning those who were violent will still face charges. We will make sure we do what's right. Mayor Quentin Lucas says, as is, the ordinance is too broad and those who hurt police should face consequences. I think it is important for us to recognize as we're talking about American policing right now that uh, there are a lot of good folks who go out every day to try to make this community better. I do think that you can support Black Lives Matter. You can believe in Black Lives Matter, but also believe in respecting our police departments. One of the officers in this viral photo from the protest on the plaza spoke out online, saying he held the sign because he believes what happened to George Floyd is wrong and he wanted to keep peace in the city. The officer and his family were later threatened by protesters. He sees the proposed ordinance as a betrayal by the city, even saying he may no longer serve the community if it's passed. We brought the post to the mayor's attention. He was disgusted by the threats against the officer's family. He says he knows changes need to be made in our community. But people like this officer who posted are people that are just outside every day working their tails off for the betterment of this community. And I don't think that we deserve, they deserve rather, the bottles thrown at them, the, the rocks thrown their way, and that sort of thing right now. It distorts the movement, it distracts the movement, and it's unhelpful fundamentally for helping bring us all together. This officer says he doesn't regret taking this photo and he'd do it again. And Lemon says police want a lot of the same things protesters are asking for, but the ordinance will not help anyone come together. The fact is we do support the movement. We do support the fact that, you know, equal treatment. Uh, but you can do that at the same time of supporting laws and to support people that enforce those laws. I'm told amendments to that ordinance have already been made, and we'll learn more about those in that committee hearing tomorrow. Now, if you want to read that officer's full post, we'll have it online at KCTV5.com. Reporting live in the plaza, Leslie Aguilar, KCTV5 News.